What is up, Aries? Welcome to your general timeless reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter placements. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. My name is Jordan. I'm a master Reiki practitioner, tarot reader, and quantum healer. So if you want any personal readings or healing sessions, you can book them down below. Let's get into it, my dear. Let's see what's going on for you. Aries, we have a new moon in your sign on the 20th next week. Ten of Swords, Seven of Cups, Knight of Cups, The Hermit, and The Knight of Pentacles. I'm not shocked that Ten of Swords is your first card out. We do have a new moon in your sign coming up, so you're going to have a new beginning, which means that something needs to end. You're starting to see really clearly what needs to end, right? And with the Knight of Cups, there seems to be a really emotional conversation about to take place. I feel like you're taking some time to really think about how to approach this. With the Hermit in Reverse and the Knight of Pentacles, this feels like a really thorough, thought through situation that you're going to approach in a way that's very vulnerable, very authentic, but also very practical. You're like, I don't know if this is working for me, but here's how I feel about it. <laughs> Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords. So you're getting a lot, a lot of clarity. You're no longer ruminating on things. You're really allowing yourself to sit in the space of being at peace with your decisions. Okay. I like it. Let's see what's going on for you. Um, I'm going to use... I'm going to stick with this one. Nope. I'm going to use Witch's Tarot. This doesn't feel right for you for some reason. Witch's Tarot is a very... Uh, like. It's a master manifester deck to me, whereas that deck, uh, Lightseers, is also like a love romance deck. So I want to see what you're creating. This tells me that there's like big change when I use this deck. So let's see. Ten of Swords. Tower. There's the big change. <laughs> Queen of Wands. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> With the Queen of Wands, this is Aries energy for me as a reader. I really like this for you. It's that realization that by allowing this to crumble, allowing this to end, you're actually stepping into your personal power, into your authenticity. Very nice. The Fool. So there's that change, that cyclic energy. So you might be leaving a relationship or leaving something that is not emotionally balanced or reciprocated, right? five of swords it might have been creating a lot of conflict it is possible to love something or someone and know that it's not peaceful right five of swords in reverse you're starting to see really clearly that there's something new that you can have on the knight of cups yeah so here's the conversation like hey i'm not going to invest in this anymore i need to take some time to rest and heal four of swords very vulnerable conversation ace of swords in reverse I feel like there's something that you're not seeing. Yeah. You're like, I don't know if this is. Yeah. I feel like you're second guessing your decision with the chariot in reverse and the ace of swords in reverse and the two of swords. It's almost like you're wondering. Oh, dang. It's almost like you're wondering if this is the right thing for you to do. I almost made an emergency call there with my beads. Dropped it. Oops. <laughs> Let's look at the hermit. <clears throat> Let's look at the Hermit for Aries, please, Spirit. Two of Cups, Temperance, Ten of Wands. Yeah, so you're taking some time away from a relationship. That's really what this looks like. Um, it does look like an ending of some sort. We have a Ten of Wands here. No Ten of, oh, the Ten of Swords is there. So yeah, you got, you got a big ending happening. With the Two of Cups and Temperance, it's trying to find your balance within yourself again. The collective is going through the end of a really deep karmic cycle. When I say that, I mean that we're addressing codependency. We're addressing addiction. We're addressing attachment, limiting beliefs, scarcity mindset, the way we invest in our physical and financial lives, right? So all the blockages or distortions around those things have been breaking down very much so over the last 12 years, but especially in the last few months. So let's look at the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Five of Wands, the Star in Reverse, and the Ten of Swords. I feel like part of you knew that this was bound to happen. It's like this conversation is really explaining like, I'm not clear on what I want right now, but I need some time to heal to figure that out. And I do have a lot of love for this, but I also need to have love for myself. Like. The Two of Cups is a card of alignment for me. And so with the Ten of Wands there, it's more so an energy of understanding that 
there's a lot of heaviness that's coming with the imbalance that's in this relationship and i think that both people are getting to that place of like okay this is supposed to end the divine's really stepping in and addressing this because it's helping some drama release right it's helping both people to learn to take like practical steps in a direction that's most meant for them then we have the knight of cups in reverse and the five of cups and the moon yeah so both people are really mourning this this doesn't feel like these people don't love each other it feels like there's a lot of love there's just like some struggle with the five of swords and a five of wands that's been really common in these readings for the collective this week is all the fives fives tell me that you're halfway through like you're at the low so the low and you're about to go up like you're about to end this stuff which is really nice with the eight of swords we have the magician in reverse justice in reverse and the ten of pentacles in reverse it's seeing really clearly that this situation or relationship was not supporting your personal power the magician right because it wasn't in alignment with you and the contract was done justice in reverse and with the ten of pentacles there it is the universe saying like hey this isn't supporting your sense of stability safety security it's time to let it go bottom of the deck we have the queen of swords and the high priestess so this is that clearing away it's really trusting in your intuition that you made the right decision i feel like a big challenge for you is learning to trust yourself like really learning to trust the choices you're making for you that that is more so the theme of this reading because there's a lot of second guessing of self going on here and so this alignment two of cups is a card of alignment for me by letting this go the universe is like okay it's time to trust that you've made the right decision it's time to trust that like you can really be by yourself and be full, be complete in who you are as an individual. So if codependency has been highlighted for you this last year or the last few years, that's most likely what you're closing out here. But Aries, for personal readings or Reiki sessions to help you through your personal situation, you can book it down below through my website. Like, share, subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel grow. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.